Am I the asshole? For refusing to take the car seats out of my car so my family can take one car to Christmas. I'm a nanny to four kids nine mo, two, four, seven. One of the requirements of the job was having a car that could fit four car booster seats. Mine didn't but I applied anyways and they liked me so they got me in contact with a friend that was selling a five-ish year old Ford Explorer for cheap. They bought the car but it's in my name and they're just taking some money out of my check each month for me to pay it back. It is my car and I can do pretty much whatever I want in it but I need three car seats and a booster in there Monday Friday. I refuse to take the car seats out because I do not know how to install them and I can't have the parents do it every time I want to drive a couple friends. I still have my Civic that I used before I got this job so when I'm not working I usually drive the Civic. My family was about to go to Christmas and my mom told me to get the car seats out of the Explorer so we can all take one car. I said no because the only one that I know how to install remove is the booster seat. My mom said I could watch a YouTube video but I honestly don't feel comfortable installing the car seats and I couldn't live with myself if the seats weren't properly installed and something happened. My mom thought I was being dramatic and that I was just trying to get out of having the family see how messy my car is. I ended up driving. My Civic and my mom followed in her car but she's still mad that I made us take two cars instead of taking the car seats out. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Your car. Your choice. I totally get it. Car seats are a pain. You can get help at any fire station. But I have done the same. My mill is obsessed with us all riding together. For a long time I'd refuse cause I hate moving those seats. Not the asshole your family should just accept your reason. And for a half hour. Drive, they should just take an additional car. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but learn to install them. It isn't difficult and sometimes you have to remove them and reinstall them. I demand my nanny knew how to do that. Not the asshole. What kind of parents don't offer to drive their own car? Not the asshole. Even if there were no car seats in there you were not obligated to use your vehicle. Not the asshole. Just that many car seats would be a hassle to reinstall, even though you should know how to do it. You're the asshole. It is your car. Not your employer's car. You did not buy it to use for work. You paid with your own money. Use your car damn it. It's a 5 minute learning, that unlocks a full size SUV. Info how long was the drive? If it was a trip across town not the asshole. It would take longer to get the car seats reinstalled in the car than the drive took. I'd say the tipping point would be an hour drive before it was worth taking all the car seats out. Learn how to put in the car seats. It does not take that much to learn. Not the asshole I'm a mum who has three kids in a car seat I've been a mum for 15 years and I still despise having to put the car seats in and out of cars no way I'm taking them out and having to put them back in unless it's to switch to a new car. You're the asshole. You're 20 years old and a nanny. Installing car seats should be something you can do yourself. You're the asshole. This is a perfectly simple skill to learn. Not the asshole but if you're going to work with kids, you should learn this. If a kid has an accident, you'll need to know this. Or if you need to vacuum. It's not hard. The fire department will check them. You are a good nanny keep it up, and take the other's recommendations to learn how to. Not the asshole. Make sure you take all available tax deductions for gas, wear tier, and mileage this is your work vehicle. Not the asshole your car, your choice. The audacity of people who think they get to tell you what to do with your possessions, body, etc. is astounding these days. Parent or not, you are an adult who gets to make their own choices. Not the asshole. So I guess mummy wanted to drink. Not the asshole good for you for being a safe and responsible nanny. Let your mom be angry. Don't feed it by being upset about it that will only reward it. Her anger is not your problem. Not the asshole, 
that is your work vehicle and as such you don't use it on the weekends or your days off. If your mom wants one vehicle she can rent one next time. Why does OP have to pay off the car? The family should have paid for the car and allow her to use it while she takes care if the children. Nata but you are being taken advantage by your employers. This is basically a work vehicle that your family is looking to take advantage of you having. They can pound sand. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The car with the kids seats is your work car and it is unreasonable of your mother to think it is at her disposal for holidays or whenever. Not the asshole, but installing car seats really isn't that hard. You should train yourself to do it anyway, in case you ever have car trouble, and need to move the kids into an Uber. Not the asshole. This if your job, and if those seats were reinstalled incorrectly, things could go bad. It's not a big deal to take two cars. Your mom needs to chill TF out. You're the asshole. It's not that hard to figure out, and you could have had a fire police person double check your work. Not the asshole, but you should learn. Not the asshole. When somebody demands I do something that isn't up to them to decide I sometimes say no, thank you. I am declining your request. You're the asshole, it's your car but you gotta learn how to put the seats. Not the asshole. Your mom wanted you to be the designated driver and she's salty that you said no. Not the asshole. She had no right to demand that of you. Not the asshole. But as a nanny and a mom, please please learn how to install take out the car seats. Especially if you aren't leaving this car at work. I use my nanny family's car too but I drive there in my own and leave their car at their house. Guys she can use the explorer whenever however. She chooses not to. Esh your mom is a little bit right about you being dramatic about it, but she should take no for an answer. Learn to install the damn seats. It's not that hard, I promise. Not the asshole. Your mom sounds spoiled. Like everyone always does what she wants. No is a word that sometimes has to be told to parents also. Not the asshole. That's essentially a work car. Christmas is not work. Tell your mole to buy a bigger car if she wants her family to take one car. Not the asshole your mom should know how annoying and frustrating taking a car seat out and putting it back in is, tired face, me and my husband bought two of each for our sons so we don't have to move them between cars, smiley face, smiley face. Not the asshole but you should really know how to install car seats if you're going to be working with young kids. I think AAA does car seat installation classes. Wherever you can learn to install them safely, you should. But not the asshole for leaving the seats safely installed. Not the asshole. I'm a CPST and know how to install my kids' car seats. Personally I wouldn't have uninstalled them for a 30-minute drive. They're work to get in and out and the amount of work isn't worth the whole idea of taking one car. Not the asshole. Why should you be inconvenienced for the sake of others not wanting to be inconvenienced? Makes no sense.